AFC is in dialogue with Ollie Henman of Civicus. Ollie, good afternoon. Why are you here today in Philanthropy House? Hi, thank you. Great to be here. Um, so Civicus is a global alliance um, with members across over 100 countries around the world. Uh, we work closely with partners in civil society, many different countries. Uh, at the moment, we're particularly concerned around restrictions to civic space and the ways that different uh, countries are reducing the opportunity for NGOs, associations, foundations to be able to operate, uh, to restrict their campaigning, to restrict their funding. In particular, today we've been talking about Hungary as a case study of where that civic space is being reduced, and we've been looking at how uh, some of those local NGOs are being affected and what the changes are that are underway uh, in what's called an illiberal state um, that's being uh, promoted by the Orban government. Oli, tell us, what are the key issues that came out of the discussion today? So, I think it's clear that um, there's been a, a real reduction in the space for civil society over the last three or four years in Hungary. Uh, we've certainly seen uh, changes to funding uh, opportunities, we've seen changes to media freedoms, we've seen changes to uh, the role of the Constitutional Court. Um, so, overall, uh, we're seeing a, a, a restriction across the board of democracy, associational life in Hungary. Um, in particular, I think it's important to note that some of the funds that are reaching those NGOs come through a European agreement from the Norwegian uh, grants program, and those have been suspended. There's currently a police investigation going on into some of those recipients of those uh, NGO funds, uh, and this is being done with no respect for due process, uh, and we've seen um, a real acceleration of intimidation and quite heavy-handed tactics by the government. Oli, thank you for that. Tell us, and the people that are going to listen to you on this video, what's your key message of what could be done in a broad coalition of partners? I think it's clear we need to work together. Uh, we need to work closely with local NGOs on the ground, and we have many members and partners um, in Hungary and in a number of Central and Eastern European countries. We need to then work together across Europe with uh, partners both here in uh, Brussels, but partners in France, in the UK, in Spain, in Germany. Uh, we need to then look at what the European Union can do in terms of establishing an effective process for monitoring and evaluating uh, democratic rights across Europe. We think it's time for a kind of Copenhagen Commission, some kind of formal process that allows us to evaluate democracy in Europe. Oli Hemant, thank you for being in dialogue with EFC. Thank you. Thank you.